I wanted to just jump in, jump on here quick and tell you what a great day today was. In my area, in the beginning of July, there's a little festival that's called the Lavender Festival. So um, my cousin and I visited the festival today and had a lot of fun and got some cool artisan sort of things. And uh, But of course, we got lavender. So I got three giant bundles of lavender, which I plan to do a fun lavender project if you guys care about that or um, would like to see a video on that maybe I could record it and if you like lavender you'd probably like that project but when I came home I came home and this box arrived this is so exciting I've been waiting so long for this in this box I'll show you I've already opened it but I'll show you I'll open it again this box contains ladybugs loads of ladybugs and they are they look hungry um why would anybody buy ladybugs well i don't as you you know we t i talk ad nauseum about my garden and i don't spray any poisons in my yard you know i have the fish and i have all sorts of wild birds And of course, Remy, my little cherub grandbabies. So I don't spray anything like that. I mean, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to be able to understand these commercials that say, um, if you've used Roundup uh, and have ended up with some form of leukemia, you may have a claim, call this number. So I'm not into that. Um, I have too many valuables in terms of living people and things and I just, my flowers aren't worth that, so I don't spray. That said, flowers are a darling for bugs. And I have, you know, I don't, I certainly don't want to look at chewed up, my garden all chewed up. So I try to, um, I am trying to do what I can in terms of natural pest management. So about a month ago, I released um, a little bug called lace wings, and they eat sawfly larva and um, aphids and probably spider mites and you know all those sorts of pests that chew your stuff all up. Um, and ladybugs do the same thing or a similar thing. So the problem is my roses are pretty clean. Um, the lace wings did a nice job. My roses are pretty clean, so I don't know if these poor girls are going to have anything to eat or not. Um, but if they don't, they'll find their way into somebody else's rose garden or vegetable garden or whatever and help them. So I suppose it's fine. Um, I certainly hope they stay here. But And I, I did check when I got home, and I see something which kind of looks like it could possibly be... Um, a little bit of white fly evidence so they would get probably get those two so that's that and what else did I want to chat about you know I'm not a bug expert what's a bug expert entomologist or some sort of analogist I'm not one of them so I'm not sure so I, but I've read enough about it that I thought why not give it a try it makes sense so um, and so far so good I, I haven't had any I had a handful of bugs, um, but hardly anything, so that's been great. Um, and regarding the lavender project, um, let me know, comment below, and let me know if that's something that you care about, because I, I wouldn't bother to um, video it if it's not something that you would even care about anyway. Um, so... But I'm excited about it anyway. I have put nothing on the walls in my house. I mean, let me think. No, nothing. Nothing at all. This will be the this project will be the first thing that's going on my walls. Isn't that crazy? I, it won't be. I, I'm going to use like 3M. So I, I don't want, I have commitment anxiety. I certainly don't want to uh, put something up and say, why did I do that? I hate that there. So I have to be able to move things around so so that's what that's what I'm going to do but if it's something you care about I will videotape it and show you and also um 
I have a couple of other fun things that I think I might video for you. All right, well, that's all for now. I'm going to go out and release these ladybugs. Maybe I'll bring you along, too. Um, this is the thing with these ladybugs, also. There's not one bit of no directions. There were directions for the lace wings, but there's nothing for this. So what I'm going to do, I think, is just open the bag and hang it. We'll see. We'll see. Let's go outside. I'll bring you along. Let's go outside and see what happens. Okay. Hang on. Okay, so we're outside. Let's see. Oh my goodness, this has some sort of a metal tie on it. Hopefully I'll be able to get it off. Yeah, okay, it's coming off. So what I'm going to do, they have a real strange smell. Ooh, what I'm going to do is, let me see if I can turn this so you guys can see. I'm going to hang this whole bag right find a sturdy cane. Well, I actually can't. This is about the best one I have. So I'm going to hang this right here. Bring it closer and see. They're making their way out fast. You know, I'm not going to leave them on this one for the entire time. Let's move it. Let's move it down. Let's move it down to the next one so we can get some on each. Oh gosh, they're on me. Yeah! I'll let them get on all of them. That guy right there, that's Abraham Darby, and he, um, I got him from my sister, and she had a soft fly problem that she, she was relocating the soft flies instead of destroying them. So you can't just move them to a different part of your yard and then think they're not gonna find their way back. So, um, so when she gave it to me, unbeknownst to me, um, the soft fly larva had gone down into the soil and, you know, overwintered there. So when I planted him here, um, I was having a lot of my leaves got chewed up from the soft flies. So they're gone now too, though. So that's good. These guys are just going crazy. So that is great. Let's move this one down again. Move my bag again. Oh gosh, you're falling all over the place. Sorry, ladies. Um, hmm. We'll come down to the end. Oops. I'd like everybody to get some. I'd like everybody to get at least a few. So that's that. Let's hope that we're successful because that that will be a great strategy if it works. So I hope it does. All right, that's it for now. Bye. So I'm out here having a fit of laughter all by myself, cackling like a lunatic. My neighbors must think I'm absolutely insane. But I got thinking to myself, Gosh, I hope when I wake up in the morning, my roses aren't just a bunch of sticks. <laughs> Hopefully these really are ladybugs and they don't chew my roses all down to sticks because that would make me very cranky. But so anyway, that's all. Bye-bye. <laughs>
So what happened? Well, what happened was the fall came. Along with the changing weather came a strong ambition for pumpkins and moms, scarecrows and jack-o'-lanterns, and the ambition to primp, preen, and pick any bugs that I, that I seen on those roses diminished. The result was not pretty. My beautiful roses became Swiss cheese. The invader bugs found them and had their way with them. They chewed them, chewed the leaves, each and every leaf, just to bits. So my takeaway is the beneficial bugs are great. They're, but they are a helper. They are no substitute for you going out and doing the hard work of rose tending. Will I buy beneficial bugs next year? Yes, I will. I certainly hope that they had a happy home all summer. Um, there were plenty of resources for them to feast upon, and they had plenty of eggs, and I'll find lots of babies next year. But I still think they'll have to be replenished, and I am not discouraged from doing that. If you liked today's video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're updated of future videos and you don't miss out on any cool content. If you have any comments, if you've tried beneficial bugs in your own garden or are thinking about trying beneficial bugs in the garden and have any tips, please leave them in the comments below. Until next time, bye for now.